Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video I'm going through all the details with how you can find every single unknown in the Hisui region and complete its Pokedex entry in Pokemon Legends Arceus. <laughs> So for those of you that have checked out the Spiritomb video that we did, this unknown video is going to be pretty similar to that. It's a kind of similar quest where you're going to have to go around the Hisui region, go to every location and track down each and every one of the unknowns. There are 28 different unknowns all around the Hisui region, around five unknowns in each different area. In the video, we're going to cover every single area where they are and provide maps so you can see exactly where they are, making it easier for you to go out and hunt them so this is the pokedex entry of the unknowns when you're in your pokedex what you do is just hit the y button here and it'll bring you to your unknown research notes and each unknown will have a unknown cryptic clue so if you can read unknown you're going to be able to read the clues to give you an idea of where they are but sometimes they're a bit hard to decipher and they're very vague so this is why we put the video together for you today to track down exactly where each and every one of them are so what we're going to do now is quickly go through from jubilife village all the way through to each individual region in the Husui region show you a map of the locations of these unknowns in that respective location and show you exactly where to find them in the game. Okay, so we're going to start off in Jubilee Village. There are three unknowns in this area. The first one is on the entrance sign to the village as you head into the village from Prelude Beach. If you look up towards the sign, there'll be unknown H on the sign. The next one in the village is unknown W. It's on the Magic Corp's eye. If you leave Kamado's office in the Galaxy HQ on the top floor, you will come across the balcony. You'll be able to see the Magic Corp statue and unknown W is on the eye of the statue and the unknown question mark the last one in jubilee village is behind your house next up we'll move to obsidian field lands now there are five unknowns in obsidian field lands the first one is unknown i it's on verity lake it's on the opposite side of the cave entrance to the cavern so if you go around the back of this area the unknown i is located here Unknown E is on the little kind of island if you go to the Grueling Grove. If you come past the Alpha Heracross and the little island there, you will find Unknown E. Unknown G is on the Obsidian Falls at the very top of the waterfall. You'll find Unknown G here. An unknown X is in the tree as you go to the Grand Tree area. So it's actually the tree where you fight Cleaver. If you climb up the tree, it's on one of the branches here. Unknown S is the last one in Obsidian Fieldlands and in the logs at Tidewater Dam next to where the Alpha Bibarel is located. You'll find Unknown S here. Next up is the Crimson Mirrorlands. Again, there are five unknowns in this location. We'll start with Unknown K, and it's on the outer tower of rocks in the Shrouded Ruins. So if you come here, you'll be able to find Unknown K. Unknown A is in the Diamond Settlement. If you head to the tent and round the back of it, near to where the Psyducks had their headaches, you will be able to find Unknown A. Unknown D is in the campsite area in the Golden Lowlands. Unknown V is in the Scarlet Bog on the tree branch as you come around this area. And the last one in the Crimson Mirrorlands is Unknown M and it's in the Sludge Mound and you'll find it on the top of the stump that's kind of fallen into the bog. Next up is the Alabasta Icelands. We've got Unknown Y here as our first one. This is Icebound Falls on the Glacier Wall. And unfortunately, I've picked this up through my playthrough, so I can't have a picture of it. But if you head to this area on Glacier Falls and on the map, you will be able to find Unknown Y here. Unknown O is on Avalanche Slopes in the underground area where you will find Alpha Froslass. If you go to one of the pillars around the back of the main room, you will find Unknown O upper height. Unknown T is on Avalux legacy on top of one of the ice pillars and unknown you is on hot crag behind the boulders on the top of the waterfall again this is one that i picked up in my playthrough but if you come to this area you're going to go to the top of the, the waterfall around the back of the boulder and it is located to the top here and the final one in alabaster icelands is the unknown exclamation mark and this is in snowfall hot springs and it will be on top of one of the tree branches in this location 
Next up, we're going to cover the Coronet Highlands. Now, we've got another five unknowns in this area. The first one's going to be Unknown L, and this is based in the Wayward Caves. So, you're going to have to go into the caves here, and you'll find it against one of the back of the cave walls. Unknown F is on the peak above the ancient quarry next to where you will find Alpha Gudra. And Unknown J is actually inside the ancient quarry. So, you go inside this area, and you'll find it on the left-hand side wall towards the ceiling. Unknown P is in Fabled Spring. If you come to this area next to where Alpha Clefable spawns, you will find it in the flower bed on the opposite side of the river to the Clefable. And Unknown C is the last one, and this is in the Sacred Plaza on top of one of the pillars. Next up, we've got the Cobalt Coastline, and Unknown B here is in the Fire Pit Island on the side of the volcano, and this is located next to where Alpha Ninetales is. Unknown N, one of the large prongs coming out of the sea, you'll know what I mean, at Sands Reach. Unknown Z will be on one of the ship's masts at Deadwood Haunt. And next up is Unknown Q, and this is in Turn Back Tunnel. If you get to the cave entrance, if you turn to your left, it'll be on a tree right next to this area. And Unknown R is the final one in Coal Butt Coastlands, and that is behind one of the gravestones on top of Veilstone Cape. If you go past the gravestone at the top of this area, it will be located just behind here, and that completes all of the unknowns. So once you have complete the unknown quest and you have all 28 26 alphabetical letters and the exclamation mark and the question mark what you can do after this there is no specific reward for this but it does unlock a certain area in the game and i don't know how many in, of you are aware of this uh, unknown is shiny locked as well throughout the the entire game when you're going around finding them they are all shiny locked so you're never going to find a shiny unknown and you're not really going to have any ability to kind of hunt them outside of that until you do complete the dex entry and when you do that if you return to the crimson Maya lands and then come up to the temple the celestial ruins you are going to enter here and with that complete dex entry what you're going to see is whoa no way there's a shiny there no way there is a shiny unknown <laughs> this is perfect for the guide here because basically what i was saying is that there is a chance that you can get a shiny unknown now and it's just i can't actually believe that so we will proceed to catch the shiny because that's absolutely nuts i can't believe that this is not being staged or anything i've literally first time i'm coming into this area since completing the pokedex entry can we see it uh let's have a look it is there okay let's have a look that is absolutely madness so like that if you've got the shiny charm, it will increase your chances. And we'll be doing a video on how to best complete your uh, Pokedex and get the shiny charm very soon on the channel. So if you're interested in shinies and getting them and increasing your chances and stuff like that, make sure to stick around and check that out when it does drop. Hit the notification bell and subscribe so you don't miss it when it does drop. But friends, um, that is pretty much all you're going to get for the unknown quest. Once you've found all the locations of the unknowns, pick them up around your playthrough and you've complete that dex entry, you can go to Salation Ruins and you can have the chance to catch in different ones in there uh, they'll be differently spawning all the time and you're going to have the chance to get that shiny as well which we kind of just showed on the video here which is super super fitting so i hope you've enjoyed today's episode hope you found it useful at the end of the day thank you so much for tuning in as always and if you have enjoyed the video please drop a like it does really help um, and we'll be back very soon with more content for pokemon legends Arceus. so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye